all right hey guys welcome back to the channel i will catch you guys up to speed on like my life as i do my hair if you don't know i'm a junior at unc chapel hill um and all of my classes are virtual this semester so i stayed home but i actually just moved in with my sister in manhattan like three weeks ago so yeah i've just been chilling here taking classes but um yeah i thought it'd be really fun to take you guys around with me see what i do um i feel like i'm pretty low energy like all the time so this might not be as exciting as you and I hope that it is, but who knows? I think we just passed the halfway mark of the semester, so I think there's eight more weeks left, and honestly, these past eight weeks have just been so long already, and I've basically given up, kind of. Um, God, I just refuse to believe that there's another, um, okay, this is not working out. Whatever, I'm just gonna keep it. Um, I just refuse to believe that there's another eight weeks. Cause man, it has, it's felt like forever. It is Monday, March 15th. On Mondays I have my viola lessons. So actually, let me show you um, our music room cause it's the one thing my sister and I are really proud of. Piano from my cousin, my ukulele. And then one of my sister's friends left these like two karaoke mics. So that's really fun. Guitar. Amp is on the floor, it's usually not. Viola, and then my music. Over here, I am taking photos for my friend's business. You guys should totally check out these Mother's Day cards, Daily Mercies on Etsy. Besides lessons today, I also have one class, and then I also need to go pick up some groceries, and I wanna pick up some things from Guitar Center for my friend's birthday that's coming up. And yeah, I just have to watch a bunch of lectures from last week that I put off. And then I have a baby shower tonight. Whoa, okay. Let's, let's do this. Um, just finished my viola lesson. I'm gonna put this away and then I'm gonna go eat some lunch. All right, this is lunch. Wow, that looks kind of gross on camera. Wait, let me pause. Um, tuna, cucumber, quarter avocado, onion, salt, garlic powder, I think that's all, and then I used this new hot sauce that we got, and then some extra cucumbers, extra filling, some grapes, and I'm definitely going to eat this last corn cookie, so. Yeah, that is lunch. Oh, this is my study spot. It looks hella messy. I already know. Um, we're in a breakout room right now. There's 81 of us in here, and it's been like two minutes, and no one has said a word. So I just did my dishes because you gotta use your time efficiently. So this breakout room lasts 10 minutes, and I guess we're just gonna chill here. Look at all the notes that I took. Nothing. I literally could have just watched my other lecture that I didn't watch last Wednesday during the time that I watched this. But now I'm scared that if I leave the meeting, you'll see something important at the very end. Okay, fit check, POV, you are going to Guitar Center to pick up some drumsticks. And also, oh wait, and you also need um, your reusable bag because you want to pick up some eggs. Can't forget the mask. I'm gonna wear my black mask because I have too much blue going on. Okay. All right, I've secured the goods. And now I am going to Goodwill because why not? It's here. Guys, I went to Goodwill. I spent like quite a while in there. And I got like five pieces, but their dressing rooms aren't open. So <laughs> I asked the lady for a tape measure. And I'm really proud of myself for asking because I usually never do. Yes, hopefully all the stuff fits. I kind of just base measurements off of the measurements I usually take for my Depop stuff. Um, right now I am going to Whole Foods. I'm just gonna pick up some food, some eggs, and head back home.
Hi, I'm back. Let's do a haul. This is a Whole Foods X Goodwill X Guitar Center haul. Okay, hold on. I'm so sweaty. It's I hate wearing layers. Okay, um, organic, free range, extra large eggs. A bag of Honeycrisp apples. Lemon, lime, and some cherry tomatoes. That's it from Whole Foods. Next, Goodwill, a pink mock neck from Topshop. That's the mock neck part. A workout shirt. I got this pair of sweatpants, and I feel like I shouldn't be buying sweatpants at a thrift shop. But I was like, I can't, I can't help myself. So I bought it. Um, this Madewell shirt, super cute. Don't know if it fits, I hope it does. I don't know if you can see that. It's like buttons. Anyways, I have something similar in white. So I thought I'd get this. And last but not least for Goodwill, a pair of jeans. And then, now last but not least, the cheapest pair of drumsticks I could find at Guitar Center, because I'm going to paint them for Lily. Um, I will see you later. Baby shower cahoots. Hi, it is 12.57. I spent the last, I want to say like three, at least three hours looking at like cat things, because I am planning on adopting a cat. But um, I haven't like watched a single lecture. I'm pretty behind, so I'm gonna do that tonight. I feel like today was a pretty busy day, but since the rest of the week is gonna be like cloudy and gross and rainy, I don't think I'm gonna be going out as much. So don't expect much from the rest of this week. I will see you tomorrow. Good night. Hello. Good morning. Afternoon. It is almost twelve. Um, today is definitely gonna be like a work day because I have so much stuff to catch up on. I have class at 12.30, so in a little bit less than an hour. I'm trying to decide if I should like do work before then. <sighs> I don't know, I'm not feeling very ambitious. Okay, lunch for today is a sandwich with cheese, ham, a salad mix, and an egg with everything but the bagel seasoning, and a bunch of hot sauce on Dave's Killer and grapes that are going bad. Lecture one. Hi, I'm still in class, but um, you guys wanna know something weird and gross that I do? I always get an urge to poop in the most inconvenient times. So I go to the bathroom, of course, taking my laptop with me, and my bathroom has this little ledge over here where I just watch my lecture while I sit on the throne. So I'm gonna go do that. I've also been doing 10 fast fingers. Hmm, not bad. Let's try it again. Oh damn. That's the most I ever got. Okay, I should probably pay attention. <laughs> My sister knows that we like um, junk food, so she put it all the way up there. Oh. <laughs> Just put it in the stuff. Oh, you know what I should do? I was supposed to vacuum. So I'll do that. All right. Here is the snack. By eating this, I am guaranteed you to crash from all the sugar in about 20 minutes. <laughs> Maybe not 20 minutes, but definitely by dinner time, I'm gonna be so tired. Using the app Too Good To Go, my cousin and I, we got a pie of pizza. Yeah, so I just ate a lot of pizza after dinner, which was probably not the smartest choice. But now I'm just watching lectures and trying not to freak out about the fact that I have so much work that I am not caught up on. This is what happens when I start prioritizing my eight hours of sleep and also my procrastination. I just don't have enough time to do my actual work. So I might have to not get as much sleep tonight, but you know what? That's the cost of being a student. Okay. 
apparently. It's like 4.42 a.m. and I have to be up at 11 o'clock. Um, I can't really do math so I can't tell you how long that is but I've just been like doing my readings for my recitation tomorrow and normally like I wouldn't do the readings but I have to for tomorrow because this class this is like the only class that I actually have to go to and um, my TA does this thing where he will literally call on each person and be like okay what did you gather from this reading so like you have to do it um, so I did the readings but I don't know what I'm gonna say because I read it but I didn't process it you know and I still have two videos to watch that are like 45 minutes so hopefully I can wake up tomorrow morning like 15 minutes before class and watch it at three times speed I forgot to say happy Wednesday today I woke up at like 10 30 finished my readings went to class ate lunch went to class and now we're here today has been very uneventful as you can see from my lack of clips but um it is 4 30 right now and i have just been either in class or doing work for class or on zoom calls but um i think I'm getting a cat soon. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna call someone at 6 o'clock. She just wants to discuss the adoption for a cat named Lucky. I'm excited. I don't know. This is definitely just like a, a call to just see if I want to maybe potentially adopt him. And it doesn't really mean anything. Like, it doesn't mean I'm getting him. But that would be super cute. I don't know. I'm excited. That's been my day so far. I'm just gonna continue doing some work. And yeah. I did want to say, um, last night when I was procrastinating a little, I saw that I hit 900 subs, so thank you. Thank you for subbing. Okay, good night. Good morning. Today is super cloudy and kind of gross and rainy. I'm going to lunch with someone at 12, so I have to go get ready. And then I have class at 2, so yeah. That's that's going to be my day. I wanted to talk about being an Asian American woman, I guess. Just very briefly while I put on some lotion. I didn't want to say anything because, first of all, I barely have a platform. And second of all, I am not eloquent at all. Like, it's actually kind of embarrassing how bad... Lee, I speak, but I was thinking like what if there's a chance that someone is watching this video who hasn't heard about the spike in anti-Asian hate crimes or who ha who lives with someone who thinks like these murderers are justified in their actions, you know? It's not good to leave oh, an important topic alone just because I'm uncomfortable talking about it or I don't want to say the wrong thing. So I just want to say that like the basics are that microaggressions against Asian Americans is a real thing and it's not something that just started once COVID started. Like it's been happening to I want to say all of us since our parents came here, our grandparents came here and those microaggressions I think have been perpetuated through Trump, through this virus and have got into something so big and it's not like you know hate crimes didn't exist before covid before all the media coverage it's because of the media coverage that we can see all of this and i just wanted to say that like when people are talking about hate against asian americans for me at least i tend to think of like east asians because i'm east asian but you know it's important to inc include in your narrative all the countries of asia like hold on how many countries are in Asia? Okay, there are 48 countries in Asia. So to only include Chinese, Korean, Japanese people in your narrative, that is excluding the majority of Asia who face, who also face discrimination. So I just wanna say if you're watching this, just know that racism against Asians do exist. Like, and it can be in the smallest of ways, or in the biggest of ways, you know? I was in 
middle school when a group of white boys came up to me and asked me to do their math homework. And I said, why? And they were like, because you're Asian, you're good at math. Like, it's small things like that that really show from a young age how these people are thinking. And then, you know, in the extreme example, it can grow into something like murdering six Asian women. So, that's all I wanted to say. I'm sure there's a lot more that I could say, but I can't think on the spot. And I also have to go to lunch with someone, so I'll see you later. Hey guys, sorry for the bad lighting. Oh wait, give me one second, I'm in class. I just got back from lunch, but I am still eating an apple. Um, but really exciting things are happening. I'm getting to meet with the cat I'm potentially adopting tomorrow. It's either tomorrow or Saturday, so I'm really excited. Okay, now I gotta go back to class. <sighs> so my computer loves to just like not work every once in a while. It kicked me out in the middle of class and then I couldn't get in. And I don't know what to do now because my entire life is on my computer, so I can't even do work. Is that gonna fall? You're on top of a kombucha bottle right now. Um, instead, I'm gonna go work on Lily's birthday present because today's actually her birthday. I got her some other things, but the one thing I really wanted to do was paint drumsticks. I have an idea of what I want to do and I'm just gonna do it instead of dwell upon it. And I'll put my laptop away because it doesn't even work anymore. First stroke. Oh yeah, baby. Hmm, this is a nice coverage. Three coats. But look how cute that is. I'm very happy about this. Okay, I'm gonna mod podge this later but for this one I'm gonna do a sunset sort of like like this TikTok L the eyes of an artist <laughs> focus 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 I used the wrong color but it's okay nothing matters Maybe. nothing really matters to me Hello, it is midnight and I haven't done anything today. I did paint, but I really messed up the second stick, so I'm gonna redo that tomorrow. But I like didn't watch any lectures today besides half an hour of my class before I got kicked out. But anyways, I'm gonna go do some work now and then once it hits like one or two, I'm gonna say peace and just leave everything for tomorrow. Hello, good morning, except for it is 1 p.m. Um, I woke up at like 11 o'clock today because I slept at 4, despite saying last night that I would sleep once 2 o'clock hit. Um, but yeah, I was doing some work um, and definitely procrastinating, definitely. But today is an exciting day. My friends are getting married, and so their wedding is at 2 o'clock, and I'm gonna meet my cat for the first time, unless for some reason I don't like him, but um, I'm pretty attached to him already. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna meet him tonight um, over a Zoom call, so I'm very excited. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna go eat lunch. I'm making um, dumplings and I'm watching a wedding. This is like the best day ever. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Hi! 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 <laughs> mm -hmm. We're getting a cat! Anyways, we're going to watch <laughs> this. No, no focus. <laughs> okay, bye bye. Good morning, vlog. I am changing out my scaly hands into a glass. Oop. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna put some water in that. Happy Saturday. Ooh, squidding pasta. Ooh. Yo, making both so proud and Toyota <laughs> Gattino. <laughs> Yeah. 
Wow, a fancy Home Depot. I might have rented that time. After church, my sister and I went to go get some cat stuff and definitely check out a video of when I adopt my cat because I'm definitely going to be recording that. Um, and then we also went to like Italy and got some food and whatnot. But, um, but yeah, so that's been my Saturday so far. It's so bright out now that I honestly thought it was like 4 o'clock, but no, it's, it's already 6.10. Um, I have a movie night with my friends at 6.30. I'm going to go set up this place for the cat, you know, just lay out some of the things that we bought. And I don't know, we'll see where life takes me. Wait, you don't have the, the floor one? Oh, All right. Do you have any rice right fly? Yeah. Okay. This is ambitious. Ambition. Woo. Okay, how long? Okay, um, put it in and then immediately turn it down to 350. Wow. Oh, they're so cute. Wow. Okay, no, no, you gotta pan. The crack. Oh. Show them. Oh, well. <laughs> Driver's license last week. Oh She's gonna pipe it into my mouth. Yeah. That's weird. Put it in the camera. Okay, I got this. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? I'm <laughs> the toilet POV. <laughs> yeah, something like that. There we go. You sit forever now, I try to melt past you. Okay. Good night, walk. We're going to steam this carpet. Now yeah, look at this. Vicky cleaned the carpet because I ended up having class. But we use the steamer. The floor's a little bit wet. <laughs> we use the steamer and now it's drying. Anyways, this is the carpet sitch. Drying. There was a gap in the stove and things were falling to the ground. So Vicky has so smart like to I me. it. <laughs> <laughs> and placed a water bottle and taped it. And so now nothing will fall. Ingenious. And this is our spice rack, but it kept on touching our oven light. So she has placed mason jar lids. Just tape everything. <laughs> tape is the solution. This color tape too. Not even a silver colored duct tape. tape. Hi, how are you? Good girl. You guys want to try it? Good girl. Good girl. Hey guys, I completely forgot to um, end the video last night because after coming back from my grandparents' place, I just did some work and went to sleep. But thank you so much for watching this video. Honestly, I doubt if anyone actually came to the end of this video because it was super long. But I hope you enjoyed seeing my week as a student living in New York, even though I didn't really go out because the weather was gross. And yeah, let me know if you guys want to see any other school-related videos or what other content you would like to see. Bye. You can have this feeling anytime.